वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टी ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस सो लेट इज फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट आई आर रेप्रेजेंट दिस इंटीग्रल ओवर सी आर एंड वॉट इज सी आर सी आर इज एक्चुअली अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस आर यूर गेडिंग माई पॉइंट देन इट सेज दैट आई आर इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आई इफ आर बिलोंग्स टू टू कॉमर थ्री आई आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू पाई आई इफ आर बिलोंग्स टू वन कॉमर टू इट सेज आई आर इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू इफ आर बिलोंग्स टू जीरो वन एंड आई आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आर इज ग्रेटर दैन थ्री सो दीज आर योर ऑप्शन राइट नाउ कम बैक सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप वाइल सॉल्विंग दीज टू दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज दिस दैट यू हैव टू फर्स्टली यूज पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन टू सेपरेट दिस थिंग आउट सो इफ यू विल यूज पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन ओके I'm not going to. I will just show you what what partial fraction I'm talking about. Okay, so you need to find A, B, C such that you can write this thing as this. You are getting my point. So this is a class twelfth formula. So what you can do, you can do it yourself. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I hope you will do it yourself. This is an exercise for you because this will make this video unnecessarily long. Okay, there is no point to. You uh, solve this thing. So solve it by yourself that this thing is equal to this thing. Therefore, integration of CR will be equal to integration of this, integration of this, integration of this. Okay, you are getting my point. So now it becomes easy to solve. Okay. So now after this step, what you should, uh, what I am going to show you, I am going to show you some of the most important result in the complex integration, and that theorem is known as Cauchy integral formula. Okay, so what it says, it says actually that if f be a holomorphic on and inside a simple closed contour C, and if z not belongs to the interior of C, that means inside the closed contour C, your z not is there. So it says f of z not is equal to one over two pi i f z by z minus z not. See, so this is your Cauchy integral formula. This is a well-known formula. I hope if you have done a course in uh, complex analysis, then you must have done this. Okay. Now I am going to show you another result that is known as Cauchy-Gurset theorem. So what it says, it says if f be a holomorphic on an in interior of a simple closed contour gamma, then its integration is zero over that gamma. You are getting my point. So this is also a well-known fact. I will keep these two things here and for your reference. Okay. Now see, come back to your option one. What your option one says? So it says if r belongs to two comma three. So what is the meaning of r belonging to two comma three? R belonging to two comma three actually means that I am just drawing a complex plane here. So r belongs to two comma three actually means that suppose this is your Two radius circle, and this is your three radius circle. Suppose this is three radius circle, and this is two radius circle. Now your R for the this circle C R actually belongs to two comma three. That means your actual circle will lie between these two. Okay, this is your C R. It is not going to touch this red circle inside it. Or it is not going to touch the red circle outside it. You are getting my point. So this is your contour. It is not going to touch the dotted circle which is inside of it. Okay. Therefore, from here, what you can figure out that zero, comma one, comma two, these three points belongs to your contour C R. Okay. From here, you are getting this. Now you can you apply Cauchy integral formula to it. So your let us suppose this is your I R. Okay. So now apply Cauchy integral formula to this first one. Okay, so you can take one by two outside of it, and you can write this thing as zero. Okay, okay, ah, uh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, I, I think I have written it wrong in wrong way. This is one over two. Okay, right. This is one over two. I, I missed it initially. This is one over two. Okay, sorry for that. Now, by using Cauchy integral formula on this. What you will get, you will get two pi i over two because this function that you are working on is a constant function, so f of z not will have no impact. You are getting my point. This is f z. From the next one, you will get two pi i again because this is a constant function. From this one, you will get 
2 pi i again okay because still this is a constant function you are getting a point so from here you what you are getting your i r is equal to 0 from here you are getting this thing now let us come back to your option number 2 what your option 2 says your option 2 says r belongs to 1 comma 2 so if your r is belonging to 1 comma 2 that means your circle is inside of this okay i will draw it again for you so if your r is there between 1 and 2 what you can then assume you can assume that okay this is your suppose 1 this is your 2 so your circle is is in between these two okay this blue is actually your actual circle it's not going to touch 1 it's not going to touch 2 therefore the one point is actually inside your contour and zero point is also inside your contour but since it is not going to touch 2 therefore 2 is not a uh, 2 is not a point which is which is lies inside your contour okay so therefore this this point 2 is actually not a singular point you are getting my point or not this 2 lies outside your contour always lie outside your contour so for this part cr you can use cauchy gorset theorem because this z minus 2 is actually a holomorphic function on this cr if crr belongs to 1 comma 2 you are getting my point or not so the only two uh, two integral on which you going to apply cauchy integral formula are these two and this one is holomorphic because two lies outside of the contour you are getting my point so you can use cauchy gorset theorem here so this one will be zero and these two the answer for these two okay this one is one over two right so answer for these two will be same as it is so 2 pi i over 2 minus 2 pi i and the next one the third one the answer will be 0 for third one so from here what you are getting you are getting i r is equal to minus pi iota you are getting my point or not okay so this is your second option okay not second option this one was third I picked it incorrectly this one is third right okay now your second option actually says that your ir okay ir is equal uh, ir not ir firstly i should write r belonging to 0 comma 1 okay now i am going to do that process again so if your r is between 0 and 1 that means let us suppose this is a dotted 0 this is your 1 okay now your radius is between these two so this is your circle it's never going to touch 0 it's never going to touch 1 that means 1 will lie always lie outside your contour and 2 2 is here so it will obviously lie outside your contour so the only singularity is at 0 you are getting my point or not so you will apply Cauchy integral formula only for this integral these two integral are holomorphic because they lies outside of the contour one lies outside of the contour and two also lies outside of the contour therefore they are holomorphic so from here you will directly evaluate that 2 pi i is your answer 2 pi i over 2 plus 0 plus 0 okay so from here you will get pi i as your answer now for the next one if r is greater than 3 they are saying if r is greater than 3 so if your radius is greater than 3 then obviously 2 will be inside it 1 will be inside it, and 0 will be inside it that means all the point are now singular point so you will use cauchy integral formula for everything that means answer will for this first one and for the third fourth one will be same so for the fourth one you have already computed that your answer is zero okay so therefore fourth one is correct now what is what about second one you are getting pi iota here and this is two this is one over two now what is what about third one you are getting minus pi iota so this one is also wrong now for the first one you are getting zero so therefore this is also wrong so fourth is the only correct option okay what you have used is cauchy integral formula it is totally based on the cauchy integral formula i will suggest you not to see these calculation do it by yourself i have shown you how to how can you compute this integral after this thing i don't think there is a problem by of computing this integral okay so the only thing that you need is that uh, which point will lie inside the contour and which point will lie outside the contour this is the uh, this is enough for this question you can do it yourself okay so thank you guys